Hello everyone, welcome to this new tutorial brought to you by Techful Tuts. And today's tutorial is going to be about creating a field of particles inside of Adobe After Effects. This can be achieved in uh, Adobe After Effects 7, CS3, and CS4 because we are going to be using one of the built in plugins, which is CC Particle World, to make this particle field. Okay, so let's start off by creating a new composition. So Comp position new comp. Let's just set it to I set mine to the NTSC D1 white screen. Square pixels, 29.97 frames per second. Looks good. Full 15 seconds. Great. Okay. So we have our blank composition here. Okay. Great. Now what we need to do is to uh, create a solid. Right click new solid, and let's make it uh, a dark. Dark, uh, dark blue, or well, we can actually make it red. It's good. Never mind. We can actually now go to Effect, Generate Ramp. Okay, so now we're gonna choose our start color to be our this great blue we're talking about. Make it more bluish, and our end color to be black. Set to Radio Ramp. Let's bring this down. Press Shift to maintain this vertical line from the middle. Go out and take this one out. Great. Right. There you go. Okay, so that's what we have. Great. So we have our nice little background. Let's go ahead and rename this BG for background. Okay, so now we're ready to actually make our particles. So right click, new solid or layer new solid and we're gonna name this here you go uh, particles and we're gonna make them uh, it's important to choose the uh, the color right there so the color you want so which is some kind of a light blue make comp size okay great so now we have a blue layer now that doesn't look so good really. Uh, we want actually to make this look like a particle. We use a pre uh, plugin called CC Particle World, as I said earlier. Just go to Effect, uh, Simulation, CC Particle World, right there. Okay, so now we have a nice, yeah, explosion volcano like. Uh, let me put the resolution down to half so it looks this faster. So that's not really what we want. We don't want to make a volcano. No. And we have this grid and this thing and that Z, Z looking figure. Okay, we want to take all those things off. From here, grid and make it off. So now we have only our particles. Now our particles don't look that good. Okay, so let's move down here to the uh, producer. Now we have a X, Y, and Z position. We actually don't want to change it. It's quite nice. That's good where it is, right there in the middle. So we actually want to increase the radius. It's kind of like a box. See, it's a box right there, and uh, we want to increase that box size. So we increase on the X axis, on the Y axis as well, and also on the Z axis. Now, why do you want to put in the Z axis? If we create a new camera, and we take the so orbit camera tool, we can orbit and it's all in 3D. Okay, so we are not gonna use a camera for this tutorial. So if we have our particles, great, but they are shooting out explosively. We want to go down to our set it to our set physics settings and we want to change the velocity down to zero. So they just uh, fall basically, nothing else, because why do we? Why do they fall? Simple physics question. Gravity. Move this gravity to zero, and now we have nothing. We don't see anything because those are lines. Our particles are lines. Now, if we go down to the particle, we can change the particle type to maybe lens convex, and we have particles. Now, you see at the beginning, we have none. Because they haven't born yet, so they're like fetus. 
not there, and yeah, labor, great. Now we have a great family. Okay, so we are going to move this over just a second too. And now we have this, now we can increase this, uh, this layer up here, and so we have all those particles. So let's do a RAM preview. So here is what we have. Okay, that looks, looks a bit good. That looks nice. But uh, I imagine we want to give it a bit of life to this whole thing. We want to give life, or we want to change some settings. For example, make it a bit smaller. We can change the birth size down just a little bit, as well as the death size, maybe. And uh, change the opacity also, because uh, it doesn't have a bit too bright. But then you can play around with those settings and uh, see what you can do. Um, now you can add a, uh, if we go to the uh, physics, we can add some uh, some pretty interesting things. So we'll twirl, we can increase the velocity just a little bit to 0 0.01, for example. And you have some kind of velocity. You see here to kind of move around a bit. So we have some a bit of a life to it. See, they kind of move. We have a bit more life. Then you can add a glow to those uh, particles. So let's go down to Effect, Stylize, Glow. And now we see a nice little glow to those particles. And you can actually play around with settings. So we'll set it right there, Composite Origin on top. Changes to the Alpha channel. So it basically uh, takes the alpha channel to uh, render the glow and let's change the AB colors and let's change those colors to be like a bright blue here and a white for example. You can change the glow radius and turn the threshold down so, so the uh, more transparent particles will actually get some Glowy. Yes. So that's how you make a uh, field of particles. And you can add some titles and stuff. And, uh, you can add some uh, crazy things to just, uh, just particles. You can add different things, different stuff. You can actually change the particle type, for example. Uh, if you want to get a particle, you can change it to uh, like tripolygons. Try that, okay? Field of particles from tripolygons. That is amazing. You can change to bubbles. So I'd like to see someone actually making a bubbles. So leave a video response uh, to something you can make with bubbles. For example, like a fish, and you have those particles emitting. Just play around with settings. Play around with all the uh, object, like no object, to make it move. Try to play around. I mean, uh, it won't hurt you. At least I think it won't. And uh, you can have some crazy things. Here. And it's concave and it's convex, so really just the same. Okay, so that's how you make your particle field. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you guys once more, maybe or more times later on with another video tutorial or tech review. See you guys, bye.